a Mississauga pet project, if you will. Pet project. He, like he's he's like everybody's like, yo, this guy, this guy's low key good. He's gonna be a problem in a bit, and you know he starts going to Toronto tournaments and he starts beating people, and it's like we're getting proven right. Yeah. See, he's, he's he's really young though, so obviously he's got a long way to go. But he showed a lot of potential at local, and you know, I feel like this is probably a toss up, Quiggles versus Bluster, to be quite honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Like, I mean, Fox or Sheik, the the tough matchup, but yeah, Bluster, he does have uh, some of the robot stuff, like the uh, tech chases down. And he's, yeah, the sixteen year old kid reactions and yeah, yeah, the, the commentator's the, curse right there. But anyway, <laughs> the, the, the thing he's kind of lacking, I notice, is just kind of like the the experience, like context based stuff. He doesn't hold down enough. He's got like some oh. situational awareness problems sometimes. But that's just come, he's only been playing for like a year and a half or two years or something. Oh, wow. so nice. that that'll come. That's pretty good. Yeah. Bluster TK. So. Bluster Kong the King. That's what that oh, stands for. K -T -K -K. Yeah. K -T. Yeah, it looks like Quiggles gets off to a start. You know, Quiggles is pretty good for a Sheik. I remember back in the COVID era, he beat JFlex that one time. Oh, so, did he? Yeah. Oh, shit, J-Sex might go. Yeah, man. Cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the time back is, but hope you enjoy the set. Oh, Quiggles. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. That tech chase. Yeah, let me let me clue in. Let me see if I can see what the dealio with Quiggles is here. Hey, if he, like, knocked him to the top platform. He jumped up. Wave landed. Luster tech roll to the right, and Quiggles, like, shine in place, like, on the center oh. of the top platform. Yeah, the, 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 the shine in place it never made sense to me as, like, a platform tech chase, unless it's versus a character that gets knocked down or something like that, maybe. But, like, I don't feel like it leads to much, even if you get it right. Yeah, exactly. So just knock them off from the, off the platform. All right. Well, Bluster took the lead back. Yeah. And oh. this is where Bluster's wheelhouse is. So that was a late tech chase, but he got it. Oh, oh, he's he's Barely a little. Reach. He might be a little nervous right now. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit like just kind of off game. But he's still he's he's got a good enough baseline that I feel like he's always kind of in it. But his hey, his maybe. his big X factor is the punish for sure. True, true. Well, that's important to be good at. Something to be good at. Yeah. Grape ape and chat. That's my goat. Oh yeah, I called Mickey Grape ape. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Again. I think I think I think both Mickey and Dan would find that hilarious. <laughs> Sorry I like the, the 80th time with the done that. <laughs> That's funny. But, uh, Mickey has a good uh great bait impersonation, so <laughs> I works. can see it. I haven't heard it but I can see it. <laughs> you should ask him. Dude, I was playing Maher. <laughs> that guy grabs so much. <laughs> No, that's more. That's like a. That's like a hybrid, like Grape Ape Zuppy impression. I mean, is it, is it Grape Ape just kind of a taller Zuppy? Or? Uh, as somebody who's close ones with both, they, they, there's quite a few differences, I will say. Damn. I guess Grape Ape wears a hat, right? He wears a hat. That's that's the main one. That's the main one. Okay, okay, that's enough uh, teasing. Grape Ape. <laughs> I was playing. <laughs> so they got Bluster taking game one. We go to Stadium. Yeah, he really cleaned up um, the end of the first game. Yeah. Dude, Bluster Kong, kind of my goat. He, he, like, he got seeded second at this tournament, which uh, I don't know if I necessarily would seed him second this early in his career, but, I mean, shit, if he can back it up, then why not, right? Damn, seeded higher than Eric. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like that's kind of sus to me. Yeah, you know. So that's how seeding goes sometimes. Yep. Well, that's if they were trying to avoid a bracket conflict between both. That's yeah. then, 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 then I could understand, because like, I feel like I don't know of any black bracket conflicts that I would have like if they shuffled my seed, but maybe other people would. Because like maybe Bluster would run into Nen or something otherwise, because they play a shit ton. Uh, maybe. Yeah, because my uh, rigged uh, monthlies where I used to see the. Uh, I would see the top like four differently generally. Mm. It Somewhere makes sense. between four and eight like differently. So we didn't have the same like it makes sense. You know, winter semis like every yeah. month, right? Because for a while when I was going to tournaments more often there was definitely like I was definitely playing GooseCon literally every time. So sometimes <laughs> yeah, exactly. sometimes it can get pretty annoying. 
Yeah, it's gonna be like, I don't know, me versus Euro for you, or like me versus Camilo, like winner semis, like every month. Like that. Yeah. Probably mix that up a little, you know? <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. I used to do that a bit when I hosted Traff too, because like we would get like, we get like Bullfeld Zuppy Grands every week, so it's like at least we can mix up the matches before that. Yeah, exactly. Oh wow, Firefox actually eat that. Eat yeah, that that's is that because like the revolving hitbox it has, like yeah. the that's that sort of thing. I'm not sure. Um, it's either that or maybe there was because he threw more needles. Maybe like one was stuck like in the wall or the ground near it, and it hit that. True. Like, I'm actually not sure which one it was. Due to not being able to see the game. But. Yeah. <laughs> right, oh so my god, that's so we got so with early. a clean punish. And plus, like an, an, an example of like Bluster, like lack of experience, DIing that up smash straight up off the wave shine, not a great look. Yep. Ah! Oh, he up tilted there. Yeah, yeah no, quick, quick looks, hit, This looks like it's going to game three. Yeah. Yeah, my one complaint about that, where Quiggles tried to up tilt, is that I think it would have been better to continue a horizontal. Combat. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's one thing that I find like kind of separates like good players from like players that get like to the next level and stuff like that is they're making much better like minutia decisions in punish. Yeah. Like because Quiggles has a good punish, but like a lot of the times it feels like he's dropping punishes that could go could go further if he like adjusted a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, and I feel like that's a common thread with like the the gatekeeper like type skill level. <laughs> that makes sense. It's funny to call him that now, but he's, yeah. he's earned it. Yeah, it, it's it's weird because like. Back in our day, like gatekeepers were like, you know, I, like flat, like Damian Tyson, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, people I can't name on, on Twitch. <laughs> I could. <laughs> I could if I wanted. But you know what? Maybe later. You'll wake up to a knock on your door. <laughs> Two subs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, all right. But for real, it's yeah. like. This is a close set. This fighter's set right now. Yeah. Oh, misses the grab. That was crucial. Oh, that's huge. Oh, oh that, those needles don't work. I frames through the whole thing. Yeah. It's okay. He's a, he's a grab away. He's always a grab away. Oh. But Quiggles, oh, like somebody who's very comfortable. Out. Oh, that's bad. Quiggles to me seems like somebody who's very comfortable versus like wave shine characters. You know, you're like your Mars Falcons yeah. type thing. He always he, like even on controller, he was always, always pretty good at those matchups. <laughs> I'm talking during COVID era. There's like, I'm not. I'm not talking pre-COVID. Like COVID, COVID era on controller. That's when he beat J Flex. Oh shit. Yeah, he, he switched the controller sometime like late COVID, where or sw he switched the box sometime like late COVID or something like that. Okay. Or no, clicks. like early, early like return from lockdown. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, clicks. Also, yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's not over, but damn. This is uh yeah. If he can convert this, like, he can make it a lot scarier. Oh shit, that's big. Bluster Kong could be the king here. Oh, Our man. noted Arcadian winner, by the way. I forgot to mention. Oh yeah, right. Oh, that's brutal. He missed his all cancel from the bear. So Quiggle's got a free like drill shine open him. Yeah. He oh. didn't take too much damage, but he's now at that yeah. percent where he's gonna get like knocked down from there and shit. Yeah. So. Like if, for somebody who doesn't hold down in enough situations. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Damn. You know. Good yeah. showing.